Greetings, accounting students. Time for our stock options as compensation screen capture video, which we are going to use this example here to show you what you need to do. All right, so what's going to happen here is we're going to give executives options to buy the company stock, which is going to be at a specified price in a specified period. And, and this is going to take the form of compensation expense. So, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> December 24th, 2018, Judith's Juvenator, Inc., purveyor of the energy drink, Wundermilch, adopted a stock compensation plan. The executive is going to be able to get 350,000 shares of stock with these options. The stock, the common stock, has a par value of 250, and when they exercise the option, they'll pay $20 a share. So, if the stock is selling for more than $20 a share, this is a good deal for the executives. All right. January 2nd is when they are actually granted, and the compensation period is going to begin on January 2nd for two years. So it's going to be 2019 and 2020 are the compensation years. And we're going to spread out the alleged fair value of these options. We used an acceptable option pricing model and got a number of 1.4 million. So we're going to spread that out over the two years, the two years being 2019 and 2020. 2021 is the year in which the executives now, having vested the options, are able to exercise them. Let's see what else happened. February 12th, 2020, which is a national holiday back in the motherland, Professor Weinstein, a disgruntled employee, was caught selling corporate secrets to a competitor, stealing office supplies, and making false and pernicious statements regarding top employee Giovanni Pace, thereby forfeiting 17,500 of his options. Let's see what else happened. On May 9, 2021, we got 150,000 options exercised. We got another 50,000 exercised on June 20. And then what happens? The remaining options expired as Judith's Juvenator stock price plummeted when it became knowledge, public knowledge, that the company's Wundermilch was in fact stop and shop, 2% milk mixed with chocolate syrup and amphetamines. Oh well. Anyway, let's see now. We've got to do, uh, come up with the entries for 2018 to 2021. Let's see, let's go over here. So for our entries. First off, it's very useful to calculate this number. What is the fair market value per option? Well, it was $1.4 million is the total alleged fair market value using an acceptable option model, right? 350. So that's going to be a given. So it's $4 per option. Now, we also know that uh, Professor Weinstein is going to be sacked he's going to forfeit 17,500 options, which represents what? 5% of the total. Okay. Here's my little option scorecard. How many options are in play on December 24th? None. So the date of grant is 350 on January 2nd, 2019. Then we have 17,500 forfeited. And we have 150,000 exercised. And we got another 50,000 exercised. So there's 132,500 options left over. And what happens to those? Well, they should have exercised the option because what happened? Stock went way down and those options became worthless. All right, let's do our accounting entries. <coughs> So the compensation period is 2019 and 2020, so we're going to make annual entries. Would you do that in the real world? Of course not. You would make monthly entries. So let's do it annually, the end of the year. Debit compensation expense, credit pick, <clears throat> stock options, okay? It's 1.4 million. And then you say to yourself, self, how many years was that? That was two years. Just divide, got $700,000. It's the expense, 
that's paid in capital stock options. Obviously, the expense is going to go on the income statement. This is going to be a stockholder's equity account. And the word paid is used loosely, right, because there's nothing being paid here. All right, what happened next? Weinberg gets socked, sacked. Okay, so we're going to reverse out the portion of the preceding entry which pertained to Professor Weinstein, which we know is 5% of the total, yeah? So I'm going to take the 700, multiply times 5%, bingo, 35,000, okay? Then what happens? Well, let me get to the next annual entry. We're going to have to modify it a little bit, okay? So I want 700 because, remember, the 17.5 is gone. I want to take the 700 minus the 35. So that'll be for my second year. Here's my little T account. Let's see, does this make any sense? Um, we started with uh, 350,000 options. We've got 17.5 forfeited, so we have 332,500 options in play, which have a market value of $4 a piece, which comes out to what? One million three hundred thirty thousand dollars. That's our balance. That's a good number. Now, what do we do next? We're going to exercise. All right, we're going to the gym now. Just kidding. We're going to exercise the options. We're going to debit our favorite account, cash. Okay. What was the option price? It was twenty dollars. Okay, per share. Whoops. Now, you know why I pre-type these things, right? $20 a share. So it's $150,000 times 20. Three million, we debit our favorite account, cash, three million. All right, then we're gonna remove the pick that pertains to those 150,000 options, and that's where that $4 comes into play. 150,000 times four, okay, 600,000. And we want to credit. Now let me put a little who'sy what's over here. This is four dollars per option. Okay. Now let's go with the common stock. Recall from our earlier endeavors that we always credit the stock accounts at a multiple of the par value. Yeah. So what do we got? Then 150,000 times 2.5. And we know the debits have to equal the credits, so I'm just going to plug this number, 32.25, and that's going to become just paid in capital in excess of par. Okay. So now these obviously stockholders' equity accounts. Whoops, lost control of the spreadsheet. What happened next? I'm going to copy this so you don't have to watch me type, which must be really painful. Uh, and I'm just going to do a little editing. No, oh, actually, it all already worked it out. Okay, what's 50,000 times 20? It's a million bucks. What's 50,000 times 4? That's 200,000. What's 50,000 times 2.5? 125. And then 1,075 is the paid in capital number. Okay, so then let's go take a look at our little T account, which has been recording all of this activity. All right, so there's our initial expense entry. Weinstein is sacked. The second expense entry, these are the two exercises of 150 and 50,000 shares respectively. We got a balance of 530 and we know that these expire. So what do we do? We're just going to flip it from one pick account to another. And this is going to be 132.5 times 4, 530,000. And we're hoping against hope 
that will make the balance in that account. So what do we do? We need a credit, right? So I'll go pick expired. Whoops. Stock options. Just moving it from one pick account to another is not really an earth shaking entry. And that zeroes out this account. Yeah, because we have a debit over here of 530,000, which would make the account balance zero. And there you have it. Um, it's about everything that could possibly happen in one of these problems. You have the recording expense, you have the forfeiture of options, and you have the exercise of options, and you have expired options. So until next time.